Virgo. Hey, my love, love, lovies. What's going on? Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back to your daily messages. Thank you for being here with me, Virgo, and I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. You don't have to be a Virgo sun only to watch these videos. These are for Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, as long as you got Virgo in your chart, you can be a part of the family, okay? Virgos, what's up? I hope you're feeling well. I hope you checked out the previous videos I did. I posted two last night. All right, so talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling today. Let me know how you're resonating with these readings and what's been going on in your situation. I appreciate everybody who's made a purchase with me. Thank you so much for booking and keeping me busy, okay? I appreciate you. Hey, my love. Hey, my love. Let's see what message of spirit has for you today. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for bringing me here with my Virgos, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. We appreciate abundance and overflow, victory in every situation, and messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Thank you for healing us in our minds, bodies, hearts, souls, and spirits. And thank you so much for blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, witches, and warlocks, and cast down every spell, Santa Maria, or any type of negative talk or blockages that have been cast or upon us or thought our, in our direction. Amen. Amen. And amen. Somebody be singing that at work. Y'all better sing it, okay? Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get into your message. So let's look at these first two that popped out. So the first card that popped out is, don't worry so much about finding love. It will find you. Spirit says there's bigger fish to fry. All right, let's talk about this for a minute, okay? Because when you're thinking about something and you want something real, real bad, you know, the longer you wait for it, the longer it takes to come. And this card is so beautiful. Look at this. The lover is like, the other person is like invisible. It's like stars. So it's a dream. So I feel like spirit is telling you to spend time just thinking about what you want, manifest it, but don't worry. Don't tell yourself that it's not going to come. Because you know what? When you're in the energy of worrying about something, if you think about it, it's you saying you don't really believe it's going to happen. You're afraid that it's not going to happen. And in turn, that gives the universe that signal where they don't even believe it's going to happen. So we don't have to work really hard to bring it because they don't trust. You know, but if you're saying, I know what's going to happen, I appreciate my soulmate. Thank you, God, for blessing me with the person that compliments me so well, mind, body, soul, and spirit. You know, then the universe is like, oh, yeah, we got to hurry up and find them. This person, let's hurry up and bring it. So, Virgo, it's all a matter of what you're thinking and what you're telling yourself, okay? So, make sure you don't um, manifest in reverse, all right? Stay focused on what you want. <clears throat> And then it'll come to you that way. But Spirit wants you to know that there are bigger fish to fry. You have some big things coming towards you. And I feel like you feel it in your gut. You know, you know that something good is coming. And I feel like you guys are trying to position yourself so you'll have room to receive it. That's what Spirit wants you to focus on, okay? It says you're going to master your material reality in the future. So some of you guys, you're thinking about wealth and wondering if you're going to be successful and if you're going to have this money, if you're going to be rich, and if you're going to be um, put up, somebody wants to be taken care of, okay? I know that's right, girl. But anyway, um, <laughs> Spirit is saying you will achieve this, okay? As long as you continue to manifest it, put yourself in the position to receive it, all right, be what you want to receive. That makes you in alignment with what you want. That's how the law of attraction works, right? All right, let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you, okay, before we get into your reading. This is just your overall energy. You will get what you wish for, but is it truly what you want? All right, so some of y'all have been asking for something, and um, Spirit knows that it's not going in well, but you still want it. You just want this person or this thing to come to you. Um, but is it really what you want? Spirit is saying, think about it because the answer from the universe is always yes. It might not seem like it because you think yourself out of it a lot of times, but it's always coming to you when you ask for it. All right. And then for some of you, you know, the feeling about getting something that you wish for. And it was a disaster. It's like, damn, I should have been more specific. So maybe this is a signal for you to be specific and think about it first. Okay. All right, so good. I see y'all thinking about y'all finances. Y'all thinking about your love life. <laughs> you manifesting in your magician energy. I like it. I like it. Let's see what else. 
you're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between all your hard work. So Virgo, y'all working hard, overworking yourself perhaps. Um, maybe you're pushing yourself too hard. Maybe you need to pull back some and just regroup and then get back at it. All right. Somebody needs really, really needs to try to take a break here. Okay. So it's time for a break for someone. All right. You know, y'all hard workers. I know how it is when you got your mind on something and it's set on it and you feel like you can't stop till this thing is accomplished. But if you, if you conk out before you even get it, then what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Spirit wants to encourage your heart today and say, I promise you, it does get better. All right. It will get better. All right. Whatever your circumstances, somebody needed to hear that because it's right here. It'll get better. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Anything else for the Virgo before we move on? Let's get this last one. Good luck sometimes comes disguised as bad luck. All right. So just because it looks like everything is a disaster doesn't mean that that's what's happening. Sometimes it means that this thing that didn't work or wasn't built on faulty, um, on firm foundation is getting destroyed. So you can take the pieces and rebuild. All right. Rebuild the life you want. Focus on the dreams that you want to accomplish. All right. The goals that you're trying to accomplish. It's going to come. Come back, sunshine. Wow. The sun, y'all seen the sun go down like that? It's cloudy. So somebody could feel a little bit, this is not your best day or this is not your happiest day. Well, I'm sending you my love, okay? And we love you. You can do this. It's all right. You deserve to feel how you feel. Work through it. Don't spend too much time there, but you're human, okay? You're human. <laughs> Every day is not going to be bubbles and sunshine and fruity pebbles, like whatever. Like it don't happen like that. You know, sometimes we have to wake up and encourage ourselves and push. You know, that's just how it is for it for a winner. You you know, you a G. You you got it going on. You you know, you're a frontliner. So you don't have it easy all the time. You're a hard worker and you're a master manifester. You got good things happening to you. You got people wishing bad on you. You got to keep your balance, right? You know this, okay? You will be a great success, but you will have to go through to get there, okay? There's lessons to be learned. This is what spirit is wanting you to know. Overall energy. Lessons to be learned. All right. So let's see what this is talking about. Let's see what spirit is telling you. And where we going with this reading. <clears throat> so a lot of you feel something big coming towards you. You feel this energy about to just um, resolve um, whatever this is that's making you feel in this energy of... It just feels like you're waiting, you know, for a better outcome. Waiting for something to pass. All right, so I do feel that here. Um, let's get these little cards over here. Clarify a little bit. Clarify the message for our spirit, holy angels, and messenger guides. Yeah, and don't worry so much about um the small things like love and what people think and things like that. I feel like you have these bigger things that you're dreaming about, things that you want to get started, and you need a balanced energy to do it. Okay, you will be a great success. But you have to go through these things to get there. It's because you're going to be helping people. You're going to be teaching others. All right. You're going to be showing the way. People are going to be watching you. Okay. Spirit is saying use your intuition. All right. Somebody is doing a love spell. All right. Y'all doing love spells. <laughs> Spirit says stop that. Don't worry so much about love. It's going to find you when it's time. But um, with this high priestess and this knight of cups energy, it's time for you to give yourself love, love yourself, okay? Spirit says the same love that you're waiting for to come to you, use your intuition to love yourself and then use your intuition to know who to choose, when to go after this love. But right now, Spirit wants you to be creative, all right? Continue to work on yourself. All right, the Knight of Cups talks about romantic offers, proposals, um, good news regarding love. So you will have love. It's going to find you. But you see how you're here and this person is here. You have to give this time, all right? You have to give this person time to find you, all right? But there is somebody out there looking for you, wanting a match just like you want a match, all right? High Priestess Energy, somebody could have a Pisces that has their eye on them. You're going to master your material reality. Why is that here? Right now, you may feel a little bit defeated. You got people working against you being underhanded, okay? But don't stop. So this is this is calling you not to get in this energy of self-deception. A lot of y'all are deceiving yourself, making, your, making the universe not act on your behalf, 
All right, this is feeling defeated and this is being underhanded or um, somebody hiding something or just feeling like people are against you. Um, every time you feel like you're getting ahead, they come and do something to stab you in the back or something. Somebody here just feels defeated. And Spirit is saying, don't worry, continue to push. All right, you're going to get it. All right, look at this, Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for... You're waiting to see a good turnout for whatever you invested in, and it's going to happen. These fruits are ripening, okay? Your hard work is going to pay off. This is you waiting, being patient. Patience is key here, okay? This is um, seven of pentacles underneath. You will get what you wish for, but is it truly what you want? And you're waiting for this thing. So are you sure about this, okay? You're pushing, you're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Somebody needs to rest. Somebody needs to rest here, four of swords energy. Somebody's also healing. But I feel like you're working so hard to avoid the pain of being alone or the thoughts of being alone or how you feel about what happened. Um, yeah. Show me one more. The chariot. Okay. Spirit wants you to balance your energy so you can move forward successfully. So with that, you need to rest so you can have a level head. The chariot is talking about success, forward movement, um, doing well, okay? So you're going to do good. Don't worry about this. Some of y'all are thinking about your vehicle. Something could have happened with your car. The car, the phone just chimed. Um, you're going to get a message about that today. For some of you, if you're waiting for a message about a vehicle or something like that, look for that. You're going to get some type of message today. When I was doing your pre-shuffle, I saw a message in the bottom. So something is on its way to you. Good um, news with this page, uh, with this Knight of Cups energy. Good news. All right. If somebody feels defeated in love, but Spirit is saying, be patient, rest, work on yourself, continue to heal. Somebody's not finished healing here. So heal so you can move forward. Okay. Good luck sometimes comes disguised as bad luck. <laughs> Look at that. This ending. So you might be feeling like, oh my God, everything is ruined. No, everything is just beginning. You ain't want to keep going on in that cycle. Feeling all confused, lied to, victimized, abandoned, like feeling like you're doing all the work. Please, Spirit said, uh-uh, get my child out of there, okay? You feel like it was bad luck, but it's not. Somebody made you feel like you're the bad luck. No, they were, okay? No, it's simple as that. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let the enemy lie to you or these people that want to see you fail. Don't let them lie to you or make you feel less than. Good luck sometimes comes disguised as bad luck. This was a good ending. All right, because you deserve to be free. You deserve to be clear, to receive the things that Spirit has for you. And the world is representing endings that bring new beginnings, okay? I keep saying this, Leo and Aries. Look at that. New money. Some of y'all lost your job, but that's okay. You got money coming. Something new is coming here, all right? Something, it's a good investment coming because now you're free and open for the opportunity. Now the universe can bring it your way. All right, so don't psych yourself out thinking that you're doing bad when you're doing good, okay? Um, you'll be a great success, but will you have to go um, but you'll have to go through it to get there. Let's see. There's lessons to be learned here. So this is just clarifying your overall energy. Then we're gonna get into your reading, the strength card. All right, so be strong. All right, spirit is wanting you to be resilient during these times. Be wise and keep your eyes open. Pay attention to the lessons so you won't have to waste time and repeat them again. All right. With this strength card, it talks about determination, willpower. All right. Taming the beast. All right. So some of y'all have to um, hold back responding to some of these people that keep trying to rub you the wrong way. Some of y'all have to focus and not focus on passions and you know, <laughs> emotions and going to get some and, you know, hooking up and stuff like that because it weakens you. So some of y'all have to be strong here so you can be successful. It takes focus, diligence, like when boxers are getting ready for their fight. It's like, yeah, you about to win this match, okay? So stay focused, keep your head in the game, and you're going to knock them out, period. All right? TKO. Let's go. Let's get into it. Now, let's pull some more cards and see what else we're about to say. And then I'm going to close this reading. So, let's see. All right. Spirit, show me clear messages. What's going on for my Virgos? What else do you want to tell Virgos? Somebody has an offer coming. Somebody may want to take you on a date or come and see you or something like that. Hmm. 
Let's see, what is Virgo's energy? What's going on around my Virgos or what does Virgo need to know? Show me clear messages. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Oh, I love you too. Somebody said, I love you. I love you. Okay, so, so look, this fox is in the reverse. So, <laughs> somebody got victory over this sneaky rascal right here, okay? Somebody has victory over this fox energy, okay? With the fish card, somebody could be expecting, but the fish is talking about good luck, prosperity. Oh, no. Yeah, this, so I feel like you're good, and it could be three people involved, because I'm looking at the number three. Also, I'm looking at the number seven, four and three. So it's a need for you to stay on your ground here. It's a need for you to stay focused. Because I feel like this thing is not good luck. This, whatever this is, some type of dysfunctional relationship or the workplace, because this was in the reverse too. All right, so Spirit wants you to know, first of all, that you're prosperous. You're going to be victorious in this. Your money is not going to be affected. Whatever happens, spirit got you. You're going to remain on top, okay? So don't, don't get it twisted. But this person right here, so it could be a workplace situation where somebody was shady or um, being very sneaky with this fox card, causing you conflict with the five on the card, trying to cause you mental conflict, worry, anguish, anything like that, all right? Here they are right here. And it's not good luck for them. They just wish karma on themselves. Look at that with the clover card in reverse. So this, whatever they were trying to do for you, this is going to backfire on them. And you feel it, all right? So right now, Spirit wants you to trust your gut about this situation and this person, about this unstable workplace or home environment or whatever this is. But the bridge is here. So it's going to be like a bridge over troubled water. Spirit is going to bring you an out, uh, um, a out a way out of this situation um either this person this person is about to get bad karma and with this four wands card in reverse the house card in reverse i feel like this person is going to get kicked out fired removed or whatever this person is going to be disbarred um it's something bad going to happen with this energy that's been trapped y'all hear the siren something's going on with this energy Right here, that's that's been trying to cause you problems, okay? They've been wishing bad luck on you and sending negative energy your way, but spirit got you, all right? So your gut feeling was right about this person sending you negative energy, doing something, or being spiteful, trying to knock you out of the way in some way. Look at this anchor. You're going to come out on top. You're going to come out successful. This also means longevity, um, secured finances. Your home situation is going to be secure. But there's definitely somebody working on behind the scenes, behind your back, right in front of your face too. So beware of these people that's grinning in your face or you thinking they're your friend and you talking to these people. Watch who you're talking to. Make sure you know about these people and who they're hanging out with and who they're talking to. Do your research. But the thing is, Spirit got you. Nothing's going to happen to you in your in your position. Show me more spirit, please. The fish card. Yeah, I saw the feminine energy. So it's a, look, it's a couple here, a pair here. All right, so there could be a female at the workplace or a male at the workplace. But I feel like not only are you, um, <laughs> you're going to be secure in your finances, Somebody here is trying to, I guess, talk to you, but it's something here where this person may be helping you or bringing you enlightenment or trying to show you something. It's something you're missing because somebody here is focused on a connection, but you're missing everything that's happening in this situation here where people are gossiping. And this um, tower card, this represents stability, but this also could be a big building. This is like a workplace or something like that. Um, it's something having to do with a commitment. Um, the ring card could also mean your um, relationship with at this place. All right. But look, the snake card. Spirit wants you to do your research. Do your research on this person, these people, this place. Okay. Because it's something that you can't trust here, honestly. All right. So be careful. You feel this already. So definitely trust that feeling that you have. Your intuition and discernment is right. And I feel like you feel it all the time. Like, you know that they're out to get you. Somebody is trying to cancel you. And they're talking about it. Every chance they get, they're gossiping. 
going back, telling people, talking. It's something here that they're trying to bring up to the forefront. Maybe somebody is not supposed to have a relationship at work and they're talking to somebody at your job. But these people, this is they're trying to cause hell for you. All right, but if something's going to happen, they're bringing karma on themselves, and these people are the ones who's going to lose out, not you. Whatever this person is trying to do, yeah, and I feel like somebody could have told you about this at your job. That's what this is right here, using your intuition, somebody coming to bring you some news about somebody trying to defeat you or be against you at your job. It's like your intuition is telling you or somebody's telling you, wow. That's crazy. Hold on. Let's get some more. Let's see. I want to know. I'm going to use the smaller cards. Let's check the time. We have 20 minutes. Let's clarify this real fast. Can y'all see? Let's see. <clears throat> Look, spying on you, keeping tabs on you. Somebody here is, and it could be a female at your workplace. Yeah. Somebody here needs some rest. Somebody here is thinking about this. This could have been on your mind. Maybe you were contemplating about what to do here, if it's time to walk away or not. But it's some kind of workplace situation where somebody is definitely working behind your back, trying to wish all kinds of bad luck on you. Could be a spell, spell work, or I feel like it's just them doing it. Like literally doing things, talking to people, recruiting, spying, and talking about this at this place of business. This this card right here represents like a bank, um, uh, a bank, a uh, business, some big business, corporate business, corporate building or anything like that. Show me um, clear messages, spirit. Show me what the fish card is representing. But the fish is talking about good luck, money, success. It's talking about you not being defeated, you staying put. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> With this Knight of Swords energy, there could be somebody coming towards you, like coming for your success, coming for your finances, just wanting you to be uprooted, right? Show me the fox in reverse. What is this? Three of Cups. So I feel like these are people, at least three people at this place of business. Show me the Clover card in reverse. Why is the Clover card in reverse? Wow. Knight of Swords energy. So somebody cold and calculated. Yeah. And this person is thinking about it. This person is not going through. So I feel like this person is with this. This could be spell work or just somebody depressed and in this energy of depression. What? Because I'm trying to see what the heck this is. All right. So here it is right here. All right, with the house card, house in reverse. So somebody is somebody is ignoring block communication or not able to talk or something like that. Feeling defeated. Look at this. So I feel like somebody is trying to hide the truth here with this block communication or the two of swords. Somebody is trying to hide the truth. Hide some type of information from you. Trying to keep this a secret of what's happening here. And you're trying to move on the calm of waters. You're trying to stay away from the conflict. Stay away from the drama. Um, you see the shadow again? Like It's like the sun, the clouds came again. But um, you're trying to stay away from the drama. Stay away from the conflict. And then we got five of swords here. Even though you feel defeated. Um, these people, like it's they're doing underhanded things. They're trying to make you uncomfortable. Make you want to leave. Right, they're trying to force you out of a situation. You see this talking to each other, more gossiping here. Eight of cups energy trying to force you to walk away from a situation that you are not ready to walk away from, something that you're invested in. So, I feel like these people are trying to move you to the point where they're trying to make you uncomfortable. 
They're trying to do whatever they can to make you uncomfortable and cause you problems. Look at this. Because their wish is to cause you conflict. Their wish is to cause you conflict. And look at this. Yeah. They want to cause you mental conflict. They want to make you stressed out. And see now the sun's coming out because you're getting this illuminated to you. You're finding out more information about this situation. But Spirit is saying don't focus so much on love and not finding love or focusing on these people. Focus on what's happening here. I feel like I knew it. It was like you got bigger fish to fry. Do some research with this book card. Anything else for Virgo Spirit before I let them go? Yeah, you can't trust these people. The Empress in reverse. So it's somebody busted and disgusting, honey. Somebody is just jealous, not doing well for themselves. This person is just... Mm, this person is just... I feel like you can't trust them. They're not abundant. They're not able to manifest. Somebody could be barren. They can't have children or something like that. But whatever it is about you, this person is jealous. They, they're very vindictive and spiteful. And so they're recruiting people to hate you and make you uncomfortable at this workplace. All right. And then for some of y'all, it's this King of Swords energy. Somebody who is, you could feel this too. Somebody could be cutting you off or really guarded towards you. All right, but we got this three of wands energy here. Somebody wants you to travel, go away, move. And you feel like, I feel like Virgo, this is also you feeling this three of wands energy. Like, man, I'm looking for a new job. My ships are coming in. Like everything is working for me. I know if I reach out or just leave, I'll be successful. But just take your time. Don't just leave abruptly here. Um, Yeah, this is, this is a trip. Yeah, look, the four of wands in the upright, you're wanting to find a new place. You're ready to move and find a new place and just leave a new home, a new job or something like that. But you're right. The feelings that you have are right. You've been using your intuition. I saw it. The intuition came out. It's right here. You knew, you feel this, you already feel this, that people have been talking, going back, taking information, somebody talking to you and then going back, telling these people what you said, feeling defeated. You can't trust somebody here. So trust your gut feeling about these people. You definitely can't trust them. And you pretty soon you'll be able to move out of this situation, but you definitely should be, um, like spirit is showing you here, looking for somewhere new. Okay. So start looking for somewhere new. All right, I love you so much, Virgo, and I will <laughs> tap into your energy a little bit later. This was a trip. Wow, good morning.